Hi, I'm Monty McKinnon. Thanks for joining me. We have glued the fingerboard to the neck. We're going to take all these clamps off in just a minute. And then we've got these two spoke shades. One's curved, one's flat. Got these from Lee Valley. No, they don't sponsor me. And I've got a couple of scrapers, uh, homemade. And no, they don't sponsor me either, either, but they do work well. And I've got another scraper, which I picked up from Stumac. I have also a rasp that's very, very sharp, and it will take this neck down really fast. Now, what we're going to do in order to speed up the process, once I have this off, I'll show you the edge. I'll tap those little pieces of wood off that we put on there the other day, and you'll get to see all of that in just a minute. But first, what do you say we spin that intro? I think it's time to get rid of my tea here. Can't believe I just said that. All right, here we go. Let's take off a couple of these clamps and then I will put these away. We'll do that later. Well, there we have it. It's glued on, it's in place. So now we got to get this thing ready to start shaping. I'm going to show you another jig, the House of Jigs. That's this place. I'm going to show you a couple more. Don't want to miss, so we'll use the hammer here. So what we do is we get our next jig out here, our holder for this, and that's right here. This little puppy has a couple, it's plywood, it's uh, Baltic birch, and it's slotted here so that it just goes down over top of the uh, worm, the, the screw piece, and then the two guides that are in there so that I can tighten it up and it, it stays pretty good. This, of course, is flexible here and here. So I can take this and mount this like so. And I can do it this way. I bring this around here and I screw that down. And that's holding it there. Then I've got this here. And so what I end up doing is doing this. But we've got lots to do before we get there. And we have room to bring this along here. And we're going to scrape this because this is so thick in here. We've got a full inch and we're going down to 810 thousandths of an inch in this area. And we're going up to 910 thousandths of an inch up in this area. And we're going to curve it to a either a Martin neck or some other neck of that nature. And so in here is where our volute is going to go. And I can get a chisel and I can start working on that right away. So I've got lots to do here, as you can see. And... Unlike the last video, which was a long one, this will be short, but you can get to see how this is going to start carving. We're continuing on here with the scraping of the neck and I'm going to do another time lapse to show you this segment of the carve. So I will get on with this and I will get back to you in just a few minutes and show you where we're at. 
but it is starting to come. I have a long way to go up in this area here. I can't lift this here. Just a minute. Up in this area here, I'm somewhere in the neighborhood of 17 thousandths of an inch thick or 1.7 and I have uh, to ignore all of that. All right, I'm going to get on with this. like this and it's pretty good the thing I'm not happy with here is the volute is coming to the end of the fingerboard almost to the end of the fingerboard and I think I would like it to end at the front edge of what will be the nut in here so I've got to cut this back a bit I've got to lower this and I've got to lower this so as much as I would like to say we are done we're not, we're not done yet and this is day three working on this so you see where the 140 hours plus comes into uh, building a guitar but you can do it if you want to uh, build a guitar absolutely I'd be delighted to uh, counsel you and help you if, if that's the case and you needed some help you can always email me and I'll get back to you some people have already started doing that uh, we're looking pretty good up in here. I've got that pretty well thinned out here And I'm going to cut this back and then we'll start fitting that to the guitar shortly But I really need to bring this back and it's got me a little worried as to how far I can bring this back and Make it look symmetrical. It's it's a hard thing to do actually for me. It is anyway so I'm going to get back onto this and I will uh, have my tea first <laughs> and then I will click on later when we get near the end and show you where we're at. So for now, let me get back to work. This makes work a lot easier. It's a good day. Well, that's it for me today. This is pretty well perfect. I've got this down to 90, 91, somewhere in around there, thousandths of an inch. And this is running somewhere in the vicinity of 79 to 81 and up to about 82 in here. So this is going to be a very nice feeling neck. Oh, this is really good. All of this gets shaved down later on once we've got the frets on there, but this feels very good. Now, I have to clean up in here yet and do some of that, but, you know, when you look at what we started with, that's not bad. And now what I will do is I will take this, put it on the body of the guitar, and then I will fit it. And I can tell you right now, we're going to have to shave this with the... Uh, chisel up in this area because what we've got is a little bit too much of a tilt and I want to bring it back exaggerated I want to bring it back up this way to do that I'm going to take a little off this edge and this edge and that makes it a lot easier to adjust so we're going to get to that but I've obviously got a whole bunch of cleaning up to do here today I'm really tired this is our third day yesterday I worked all day Today I have spent just over four hours uh, fine-tuning this. I did probably six to seven hours yesterday, and the day before that was at least four hours. So we've got ourselves a good 15, 16 hours invested in this neck. I've had to sharpen the tools several times throughout the build. This was a particularly difficult neck to work with. I'm not sure why the wood grain would be going this way on this side, it'd be coming this way, and then it would twist, and it would, it, it just went all over the place. And I honestly have to say, while this is one of my favorite parts of building a guitar, 
this was not my favorite part as you saw in that last video. It cost me my watch. I will always remember this. I think maybe I'm gonna name this guitar The Watch. That sounds like a good name for it. Anyway, I've, I've got a little bit of sludge left here. Uh, this was a, a nice hot tea. It's now probably iced tea, but we'll give it a shot. Oh yeah, that's pretty bad. Um, that's enough of that. So by all means, check out the links that are down below. Thank you for joining me on this journey and please subscribe. And I've got some special stuff that's going to be coming along the pike very, very soon. And I will tell you about that in another video, but we just don't have time today. So that's it for me. Thanks very much. Stay safe, stay away from people and eat lots of food. Bye for now. Oh boy.